Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we will be talking about the certain calorific values which are present in the yellow box which is given in the chapter of digestion and absorption. Now certain people think that it is not important but it plays an important role in our syllabus. So let's start with it right now. So here is the topic of calorific values. Now to make this chapter, to make this small portion of this chapter more interesting, I'll be dividing this part into certain points. So let us start. First of all, see, first point, you must be knowing that the heat energy, the heat energy is In terms of Joule, which is represented by capital J, or Calorie, that we represent as small c a l. Right? Now, this is a fact which everyone of us must be knowing. But the another point that certain physiologists Physio physiologists commonly use the unit in terms of these proteins, fats and carbohydrates as kilocalorie. Which can be represented as KCAL. Right. Physiologists commonly uses the unit of kilocalorie in terms of these foods. Now, this was also a common point we can say, but the calorific values are much much important. See, the next point which says that the nutritionists traditionally refers to KCAL that is your kilocalorie as the calorie or joule. Certain nutritionists traditionally refers kilocalorie as the unit calorie or joules. Another point which we can say here that is the amount you must be knowing that the amount of heat liberated from from complete combustion of one gram food is considered in a bomb calorimeter bomb calorimeter is a device which we have studied in chemistry as well but the processing the definition of it i told you right now now it is basically a closed chamber it is a closed chamber which is filled with oxygen you can say, right? It can be said as a closed chamber filled with oxygen. Now see, it's filled with oxygen that is why combustion also takes place here. Now comes the main matter of this chapter which refers the actual amount of energy combustion. See, here we will be talking about the gross calorific values and the physiological values. Now, let me divide gross calorific and physiological values into two parts. See, first of all, here we will be writing about the gross calorific value. While here we can write the physiological values. The physiological values. See, 
Now I have divided two categories here. Now we will be writing for carbohydrates, proteins and fats separately. Right? For carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Individual values. Now see, let me first just divide these. Now as I have divided, it will be very easy for all of us to recognize each value and will not have any problem. Right. See now, first of all, referring to the gross calorific values, see gross calorific value for the carbohydrates is your 4.1 kilocalories kcal per grams 4.1 kilocalories per gram is the value of the carbohydrates for the gross calorific value while for proteins for the proteins our value is 5.65 it's 5.65 kilocalories per gram kilocalories per gram and for fats now the gross calorific value for fats is your 9.2 it is 9.45 kilocalories per grams now these all were the gross calorific values now let us discuss about the physiological value physiological value for carbohydrates is they are similar just a difference of one or two points are certainly like that let me write and tell you first of all the physiological values for your carbohydrates is 4.0 kilocalories per gram it's 4.0 kilocalories per gram while for proteins, the value is for, again 4.0 kilocalories per gram. 4.0 kilocalories per gram. So, because of the carbohydrates and proteins, as they have similar value, you will be having an ease to learn it. See now, 9.0, 9.0 kilocalories per gram. This is the value of, this is the physiological value for fats. This is the physiological value for fats as you can see here. So now there is a comparative study as you can see that carbohydrates are having 4.1 kilocalories per gram in gross caloric value. Physiological value as 4.0 that means only a difference of 0.1. Proteins are having 5.65 kilocalories per gram and physiological value as 4.0 that means a difference of 1.65 kilocalories per gram and in case of fats you can say 9.45 kilocalories per gram as the gross calorific value while the physiological value stands as 9.0 kilocalories per gram which means a difference of just 0.45 kilocalories per gram so these were this were the yellow box which is presented the ncrt which you can refer from here these were the important information which is present out there. Thank you and let's meet in the next video. Thank you.